All right, traders, a very, very warm welcome. I am Devang, and this is the Trading Psychology Series. In particular, we're talking about something called the Law of Harmony or the Law of Vibrations. So it's a very, very important concept. It was adapted from the works of W.D. Gann, and it's, it's one concept in the psychological and emotional field of trading which will help you save a lot of money. It has helped me save a lot of money and helped me put in to a lot of profitable trades day after day. So make sure you listen it till the end of the video. It's going to be a short video. And also, if you like to listen to more psychological trading aspects, we have a whole different playlist. So you can go to our YouTube channel, head over to the trading psychology playlist, and you can see all the videos lined up there. So for now, this is the episode three of trading psychology. So first of all, a lot of people ask me, who is W.D. Gann, right? So W.D. Gann was one of the most intellectual, most successful um, investors and tra or traders in the field of financial markets. He was an American. So he was one of the most, he was the finest traders who ever lived in the 1900s uh, time. And a lot of, lot of important concepts that he has uh, given to us, which, we, which I will do a video later. A lot of people do ask us to, do a, do a segment on him, but I will be doing a segment on him later in the course of a couple of weeks. But currently, this concept of law of vibrations, law of harmony has been adapted from the works of W.D. Gann. If you want to know more about W.D. Gann, I would recommend you to go over his books. He has written about 10 books. Uh, the most famous is The Truth of the Stock Tape, or you can read about Tunnel Through the Air. A lot of books he has given and humbled us with. Um, most of his material that he's written, you will not be able to understand. So the reason is because you have to understand this person, W.D. Gann. He was a member of the 33rd degree Freemasonry. So what is 33rd degree Freemasonry? Basically, it's a, it's a society. It was a secret society which used to meet you know, in the world and discuss about intellectual ideas. So in this 33rd degree Freemasonry, you had members like Albert Einstein, Thomas Alva Edison. So you have to understand this person I'm talking about, the concept I'm bringing to the table is, has been adapted by a person of such high intellect in the financial markets at that period of time. So read his books because you'll have to read it over and over again to understand what he is trying to bring to the markets. But he was one person who was known to find the tops and bottoms in the markets. He predicted a whole lot of swings in the markets. He was essentially a commodity you know, investor and trader. So we'll come to that later. Let's come back to the psychological concept. So what is this law of harmony? So W.D. Gann was a, was a person who liked, liked to relate, correlate life with you know, the financial markets. So let me ask you a simple question. Let's say you, know, you go to a friend's birthday party, right? And this, this friend of yours, a mutual friend, makes you meet a couple of his own friends, which you don't know. So what happens is when you meet those uh, unknown people, you might interact with them for a couple of minutes, get to know them. But uh, when, your, when your mutual friend goes away to attend his other guests and when you are alone with this new people he has introduced you with, what happens? There might be an ego clash. I'm not saying there is, but there might be. You might not get some good vibes from them. And what happens is after mingling with them for a couple of minutes, you go your way and that guy goes their way. That's exactly what happens because you're not comfortable with them. You are not getting those right vibrations from them. Maybe you have a different a psyche and they have a different sense of how they want to do things. And this is the same concept I would like to use it in the markets. This is essentially what W.D. Gann essentially brought to the table. He told, he, told, he wrote in his books um, and covered in detail. He said that, you know, in markets, every stock has a different walk. You know, some like, for example, like humans, every human has a different way to walk. And same is the example, every stock walks in a different way. So for example, you have a, let's say there's a stock, a hundred rupees, a resistance is there. And the stock breaks out from this hundred rupees. This stock A, this might go up immediately to 110 in a matter of 15 minutes. There is another stop, stock, which has a hundred rupee resistance. When it breaks out, it does a lot of time pass for one day, two days, and then breaks out. What I'm essentially trying to say is every stock has a different walk. And there are stocks which you will be harmonious with, you will get good vibrations from, and there are other stocks which you will not be comfortable with. I'm going to give you an example, a stock like Reliance. 
this is one stock i am not at all comfortable when i say comfortable i do not get the good vibrations i do not get good harmony from this stock what does this mean this means that whenever i trade reliance i will go into a loss no matter what it doesn't mean i'm not a good trader it basically means i'm not able to handle the walk that reliance is doing and when this happens you have to understand go away from reliance and go to the other stocks before you wipe out your own capital i hope my my points that i'm making are very clear it's a very important concept so over the last couple of weeks i've mentored about more than 100 students uh, in the financial markets and those people have turned out to be very very good traders but the thing is these guys when they trade into a particular stock they'll always do a loss every single time no matter what the reason is not because they are not good traders not because they don't know the sense of how to trade exactra exactra but they are not harmonious they are not getting good vibrations from that stock so for example if you all remember i was the person who told you all to go short on reliance below 2000 this was one level himalay and i were giving you when reliance was at 2200 people didn't believe then but it did happen you did plunge below 2000 levels so when reliance plunged below 2000 the level I, i kept on shouting and shouting to go short at i was one person who didn't go short on reliance it's hard to believe but i am a i am the trader who didn't go short on reliance everyone would have made tons of money of reliance because we gave you recommendations in tfa talks everywhere in our forums but i i didn't go short on reliance the reason is even if even if i did go short on reliance i would not make money i've done it in the past when i go short or when i go long on reliance since i'm not comfortable i'm not harmonious i do not know how it moves and i'm not comfortable with accepting the way how it moves i hope these points are coming clear at the same time himalay is one person who loves reliance and if you give him reliance he can make money easily another example would be stocks which are penny uh, i want to give you personal example so you understand it's not you who are who are doing losses it's also me and there are stocks which you are not comfortable with so scuttle away from those stocks and find other stock which you are more comfortable with which you are more harmonious with another stock is yes bank i can't make money of yes bank even if i know yes bank will break out and give you money i will not be able to make money of it at the same time himalay is one person the co-founder of tfa he you can give him any penny stock he will make a fortune out of it no matter where the penny stock is you get him into a penny stock he will make you money out of it example would be yes bank lt foods ncc nvcc all these stocks which are trading at 20 rupees level he has made a fortune out of them just because he is so harmonious with how these things move so understand guys that you don't have to stick to a stock if you are making losses again after again after again you have to change the sample size if you are if you have let's say a stock like state bank of india in your sample and the strategy that you are using into the markets it is giving you again and again a loss it means that maybe you are not comfortable with the way how this guy is moving just to give one more reiterate one more example uh, before i wind up this uh, psychological lesson would be a stock like so if you all listen to my tfa talks i'm very very harmonious with the sector of chemicals so stocks like vinati organics this is one stock i'm very very comfortable with another example would be stocks like navin flooring this is one stock which i gave you a buy trade couple of couple of days back and this is one stock when it gives you a breakout this is what a breakout means you have a resistance placed when you break out of the resistance it immediately goes above this is one stock if i tell you to buy i gave a buy trade in the last week it's already given you more than 10% in a matter of a week because i know how navin florin moves and i am a person if a breakout happens i want to make money fast i don't have too much time to waste i love how navin florin or you all must remember the stock ti industries one stock another stock i gave a lot of trades were and this is another stock if it breaks out of the resistance it will give you a move immediately so i love to trade such movements however i will not be able to trade some stocks which are very slow for example itc this is a different whole different type of stock itc might give you a breakdown so you can see itc did give you a breakdown but immediately reversed because this is the way how itc moves even if itc goes above 175 it will start to consolidate there it will not give you a move so if i show you the 15 minute chart today itc gave a breakout above this 171 went above for a little again fell down so it's a very vague stock it's not it's not the same how your stocks like the chemical sectors are trading at the same time kotak mahindra bank 
is a stock which immediately booms when you get a breakout. At the same time, SBI or HDFC Bank for that fact or matter will not move like that. So the lesson you should take from today is I want you to spend some time on the charts and understand how your charts work, how your stocks work. You might be comfortable, might be harmonious with how a couple of stocks work, but you might not be harmonious with how the other stocks work. So those stocks which you are not harmonious with, try to leave them out for the time being and trade with the basket of stocks that you are comfortable with. Best example would be TCS and Wipro. These both are amazing companies. I have no problem in that. But if TCS gives you a breakout, it will boom. But if Wipro gives you a breakout, it will stay stable maybe for a day or, a, or two days and then give you the move. So if you trade in Wipro, you might hit a stop loss. You might get out and repent. Why didn't you stay in the trade later? So that's what I basically want to talk about. I hope all of these points that I've talked about do make some sense. Let me know in the comment section below if you like these videos. If you want to see more psychological aspects, also let me know in the comment section. Give this a thumbs up, guys. Comment on this video. Click on that bell icon and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.